let us discuss seven crystal systems and 14 Brevet lattices. These are classification of lattices. So lattices are classified into seven crystal systems and they are further subclassified into 14 Brevet lattices. So let us look at this table. This table represents the all the 14 Brevet lattices. In the column crystal system, you see the seven crystal system listed by their names, cubic, tetragonal, orthorhombic, hexagonal, trigonal, monoclinic, and triclinic. Now, the rows show that in each crystal system, you have one or more Brevet lattices. So in cubic crystal system, we have three Brevet lattices. These are designated as P, I, and F. Actually, when we name the Brevet lattice, we will append these symbols to the name of the crystal system. So the Brevet lattices are for the cubic crystal system, cubic P, cubic I, and cubic F. In the bottom of the table, I have also shown you um, the meaning of these symbols. P stands for simple or primitive, I for body center, and F for face center. So these lattices are also known as cubic P will be known as cubic simple cubic, cubic I as body centered cubic, and cubic F as face centered cubic. Similarly, if we see that in tetragonal, there are two lattices in tetragonal P and tetragonal I, that is simple tetragonal or body centered tetragonal. Similarly, we see that other crystal systems also have one or more Brevet lattices. Orthorhombic has Apart from P, I, and F, another variety which is known as end centered orthorhombic. This can be designated as A, B, or C. We will see the meaning of these letters a little later. So, what is a cubic lattice? This is usually defined in terms of the lattice parameter of the conventional unit cell which we know is a equals b equals c and alpha equal beta equal gamma is equal to 90 degree these are lattice parameters of a cubic unit cell now similar relationship between lattice parameter can be given for all the seven crystal systems so we have for example for cubic we have already seen a equal b equal c alpha equal beta equal gamma equal to 90 degree now for tetragonal similar relationship is there actually angular relationship is exactly the same as cubic but in terms of lengths one length the c parameter is different from the other two a and b are equal not equal to C. That gives you tetragonal. In orthorhombic, again like cubic and tetragonal, we have exactly the same angular relationship. All three angles are 90 degree, but none of the three sides are equal. So A is not equal to B and is not equal to C. Similar definitions are given for other crystal systems. Let us look at what we mean by simple cubic, body centered cubic, and face centered cubic. So, in simple cubic, the lattice points are only at the corners. In body centered cubic, lattice points are at corners as well as at the center of the cubic unit cell. And in face centered cubic, we have lattice points at corners as well as at the centers of all the six faces. In face centered cubic, there is no lattice point at the center of the cube. So these are the three 
cubic brevet lattices. The meaning of P, I and F for other lattices will also be identical. So whenever we have I or body centered, there will be a lattice point at the center of the unit cell. And whenever we have F or face centered, there will be lattice points at the centers of all the faces of the unit cell. Now, we saw that in orthorhombic, there was a special kind of lattice, the end-centered lattice, end-centered orthorhombic. It's also known as base-centered orthorhombic. This is, the unit cell has lattice points at all corners as well as lattice points at the centers of only a single pair of parallel faces. So I have shown you three. So the, the distinction with the face centered is that in face centered lattice, all faces are centered. Here, only one pair of parallel faces are centered. The three examples are shown here, orthorhombic A, orthorhombic B, or orthorhombic C. These designation comes from whether which pair of faces are centered. So the front and back faces in the unit cell shown here are perpendicular to the x-axis. These are called the A faces. They are perpendicular to the A parameter. So they are known as the A faces. So since in the first figure A faces are centered, it's an orthorhombic A. Similar interpretation we give can give can be given for orthorhombic B and orthorhombic C. Now, one of the most interesting questions regarding this classification is not that there are 14 Bravais lattices. If you see, there are seven crystal systems and you, if you see orthorhombic, there are four types of Bravais lattices in that system, P, I, F, and C. Why? Other systems do not have all these four types. So why? Seven, seven into four, we have 28 possibilities. Why only 14 of these 28 possibilities? Exactly half of the possible lattices are actually present. So the real question, the central question for understanding crystal system and Brevet lattices is not why there are 14 Brevet lattices, but why half the boxes are empty. So we will look at, at the answer to this question in some subsequent videos. And when we, we do that, we will find an interesting result that the cubic lattice, what we defined as in terms of lattice parameter, a equal B equal C, alpha equals beta equals gamma equals 90 degree. This is not really a proper definition of a cubic lattice. So this should not be taken as a definition of the cubic lattice. It's a description of the cubic lattice, but not the essential requirement, essential definition of a cubic lattice. And in that sense, in fact, this entire table, all these lattice parameter relationships a description of the corresponding crystal system, but they are not the definitions. So in terms of definitions, all these definitions are incorrect. This idea will be developed in the subsequent videos in this series. Thank you.